Hi, this video is an introduction to variables. For this video, we're only going to be using two types of variables, integers and strings. There are many different kinds of variables, and I'm going to go over the different kinds of variables and get into more details in other videos. But to keep it simple, we're just going to use those two types in this video. The first thing that we want to do is create a procedure, and then we are going to create our variables inside of the procedure. So I've created this procedure called variables demo. And now we are going to actually create some variables. To create a variable, we do something called declaring the variable. And we do that with a keyword called dim. And a keyword is the word that is reserved by VBA. It has special meaning. And so we cannot use it anywhere else in our code. For example, we cannot name a variable dim because it's reserved by VBA. So we use the keyword dim and then we name our variable. So I'm going to call this variable IH and I am going to declare it to be of type integer. So let's talk for a second about what variables actually are and what this declaration is doing. Variables are a location in memory on your computer where you can store a value and you can assign a name to that location in memory so that you can refer to it later. So let's take a look at that in terms of the declaration statement, this dim statement that we have created here. So what we're saying is with this dim keyword is I intend to declare a variable and you're saying to your computer, I want you to save some space in memory to hold this variable that I am going to refer to by the name I age and I want you to make the variable an integer. And the reason that we need to tell the computer what kind of variable we would like it to be is because the computer will save different kinds of variables in different ways and different kinds of variables require different amounts of space. And so when we declare the data type, this is called a data type to be integer, then the computer knows, okay, I need to save some space that is going to be the size of an integer. And I will save this variable a certain way, the way that VBA, you know, tells the computer to save integers. Okay. So again, we're telling the computer, I want you to save some space in memory for a variable of type integer and it's going to be called I age. So then once we've done that, we can then use the variable. Right now, there is a space in memory for this variable called I age, but it doesn't have a value, right? It's just a space in memory. So we can save a value in that space by assigning a value to the variable. We do that with what's called the assignment operator. And that is the equal sign in VBA. And so say I wanted to make the age four. And so what this is saying is assign the value of four, the value on the right hand side of the equal sign to the variable I age. So we assign the value on the right hand side to the variable on the left hand side. And we use the equal sign as the assignment operator, meaning that is going to tell the computer that this value is associated with this variable. Okay, so now that I've done that, I age now has a value of four. So let's show that. So if you remember from my first video, that was an introduction to programming. We used this message box function. So we're going to use that again to output a message to the screen. And we're just going to print the value of our variable. Okay, so I have message box I age. And now let me run this. And you see that we have the value of four printed out, which is the age that we assigned to I age. So let's talk about what we did here. So here again, we declared the variable I age to be of type integer. And then we assigned the value of four to I age. And then we used that variable here to output the value to the screen. And if we change the value, say we make it 50, 
and we run this code again. And again, the way to run the code is to click either this button here or hit F5. And then we see that the value changes because we have changed the value of the variable. And I'm going to create another variable. And so to do that, I'll just create another dim statement. And this one I'm going to call name. And this is going to be a type that is called string. And now when you see this box pop up that has a list of different values that I can choose, this is called IntelliSense. And it will sort through the values as I type. And then when I on the one that I want, I can simply hit tab and then that value will complete for me. So now I have a new variable called sname. And I'm going to assign a value to that. I'm going to call the name Jennifer. Now I have two variables here. So if I change this to s name and run it, now you'll see that my name comes up. But what if I want both of these variables to show up? We can use something that is called the concatenation operator. And so that basically takes different parts and just kind of stitches them together. So if I want to make a sentence, but I want it to have variable parts, I want to insert this variable information into my sentence, I can do that with the concatenation operator, which is the ampersand. And so to do that, say I want to say I have my name here, right? So S name, and then I will hit the ampersand, and then is, and I'll put in the age variable, and then years old. Okay, and so let me talk a little bit about what is happening here. So strings, as you notice, I enclosed it in double quotation marks. You always need to enclose the value of a string in double quotation marks. This is called a string literal. In other words, I've typed out the value. This is the literal value of the string. I've typed it out. And so it needs to be inside of quotation marks. And so here what I've done is I've put in the name, the variable for the name. I've put the concatenation operator. And then I have a, another string literal here. It's just, it's a string literal. It's just not assigned to a variable. And so again, anytime you want to type text that you want it to show exactly as you're typing it, you need to put it in quotation marks. And so we have the is, and you also need to include any spaces. You need to make sure that any spaces you want to show up on the screen, you include inside of your quotation marks. And then I have another concatenation operator. And then I have the variable for the age, which is going to be 50. And then I have another concatenation operator. And then I have the end of the string, years old, another string literal. And so this will put up on the screen, Jennifer is 50 years old. And you see that the values that I have assigned to the variables have gotten filled in where the variables are. And I can change any of these at any time. I can change the age to 25. Jennifer is 25 years old. I can change the name. John is 25 years old. This makes it very flexible for us to write a statement here and simply change the values of the variables. And then we change the meaning of the statement without changing the statement itself. We don't have to retype this over and over again. We can just use variables to change the values in the statements. So I think that's it for this video. Again, this is just a very simple overview of how to create variables and use them. In other videos, we're going to talk about different kinds of variables. We're going to talk a little bit more about data types, and we're going to talk about rules and more details and more intricacies of variables in future videos. So thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you again.